Stewie Angelo survived the last time. He's not gonna survive this time, is he? That oh. looks frightening. What up, what up? It's Chad Wild Clay, and in my last Ninja Weapons video, a ton of you guys commented to do Fallout 4 melee weapons. Holy cow, there were so many. So I'm gonna buy five Fallout 4 weapons, test them out in real life, see how they battle up against fruit ninjas and soda ninjas. <laughs> And the first Fallout 4 melee weapon we are testing out is the Shish Kebab. It is a modified samurai sword with a fuel tank on it, a handle, and it emits flames while being swung. Now, finding one of these in real life is gonna be pretty much impossible. We're gonna have to make our own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first use a katana sword, one that I already have, the hand-forged Sado Katana, which I got from Karate Mart for $69.95. And then we're gonna figure out a way where we can light this sword on fire and swing it around and chop some stuff up. So let's go get the sword and see what we can do. And here is that hand forged katana sword. First, let's take it out of its scabbard here. There it is. We're gonna take some clips right here. Then we're gonna take this cotton rope made for a clothesline and we're gonna cut a piece of the clothesline. So I'm gonna take the clothesline and have it run almost the full length of the sword here. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm gonna clip it over the blade and the clothesline. And we'll clip the last one on up here. What I'm gonna try to do is soak this clothesline in a uh, flammable liquid. I would light that on fire and chop some stuff up. First, I need to become a little bit more like Nate from Fallout 4. Fallout 4 men's costume hoodie for 25 bucks. This thing looks pretty cool. All right, let's order this and become Nate. In the Fallout 4 hoodie has arrived. Ooh, this is actually really nice. It's got like a leather pleather type material here, cotton. This is much higher quality than I thought it would be. All right, now, does the thing fit? Let's try this special ninja move that I've mastered for putting on clothes really quickly. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Whoa, it worked, and it fits pretty good. Anyway, let's now take our shish kebab, light this baby on fire, and go chop some stuff up. <laughs> I got my good buddy Justin behind the camera. What's up? What's up, Fallout guy? Yeah, that's me. I'm Nate. I'm the sole survivor. Check All it right. out. All right. In this post-apocalyptic wasteland yes. here. Yes. We have pools and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's just for us, because no goodness. one else, nobody else survived, so we got it all to ourselves. <laughs> I want to go to sleep for a thousand years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you have seen this katana blade before in oh. a previous video, but V, wake up from your cryogenic sleep. Oh, hey. The only female survivor. Oh. That's right. <laughs> you got a pretty cool shirt. Check that out. Adam Bomb, baby. Nice. <laughs> All right, so this is the shish kebab. Did you buy that sword at Staples? Yeah. Funny, funny. Hey. You hacked this. I hacked it. Okay. Hacked it up. Oh, yeah. nice. A ninja hack. Yeah. Nice. He's, the, he's the hack master, of course, yeah, yeah. so she would <laughs> notice that. Yeah, yeah. In Fallout 4, there's a weapon called shish kebab. Like uh, grilling barbecue or exactly. what? Exactly. <laughs> they have like, a, a gas tank, uh -huh. and the gas tank causes like gasoline to shoot flames onto the blade. Oh, cool. So I attached a clothesline uh, to this. We're going to soak this in uh, lighter fluid, Oh. and we're going to chop some stuff up. All right. On fire? Oh, yeah. What, uh, what's your name, buddy? I'm Fallout Guy number two. Oh, Just you're- Just kidding, you're I'm a... Eyebrow Man. Yeah, you got a nice unibrow there. I like it. Don't make unsavory remarks about my brow. I would never do that. Oh. I'm gonna test your skills with a sword on fire. It's getting hot in here. Yes, it ah! is! All right, guys, I've got the GoPro on my forehead so you can see what it looks like from my perspective. Let's Woo! do this! And here we go. Are we ready? Let's get lit! Look at that. Let's put it out. 
Well, I think the fire like made the blade sharper. It just made it feel like a cut through much easier. I barely had to swing hard with that one. Nice. That's how we'll sharpen our blades from now on. Fire. Yeah, exactly. Woo. Oh, hey, the unibrow is still intact. I told you you wouldn't get rid of my brow. That is a powerful <laughs> unibrow. We'll get you next time, buddy. Let's go back inside and get another weapon. <laughs> While I was researching ways on how to light my katana sword on fire, I figured out a really cool way to light my hands on fire. So if you guys want to see me light my hands on fire and punch something, give this video a flaming hot thumbs up. If this video hits, let's go for 100,000 thumbs up this time, guys, because this is going to be a very dangerous move on my part. So I need 100,000 thumbs up. If we hit that on this video, I will light my hand on fire and punch something. <laughs> The next Fallout 4 melee weapon is the Pipe Wrench. It is a heavy metal wrench, specked with rust and covered in chipped red paint. And although other wrenches appear in the game, the Pipe Wrench is the best one to use as a makeshift melee weapon. All right, so I need to find a really big pipe wrench that is uh, has some red coloring in it. What do you know? It's General Tools, 1493. That, hopefully it's not the year that this thing was made, right? Uh, straight iron pipe wrench, 18 inches long. That is a big pipe wrench and it has the red color. This looks very similar to what's in the game. Let's go ahead and order this thing. In the pipe wrench has arrived in the mail today. Clock, ooh, that thing is heavy. Yeah, wow. I know it said 18 inches, but this is actually a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I can hold this with two hands, get a really good swing on this baby here. And so let's take our pipe wrench outside and destroy some enemies. OB, I'm here to clean your pipes. Did you call the plumber? Aww. Yeah, plumber. I don't ever have to do that. Because you don't poop, right? Girls right. don't do that either. <laughs> so. I, I only clock a drain because of my hair. That's uh, it. She <laughs> does. Holy <laughs> cow, it's bad. It's there bad. isn't a snake long enough in the world to <laughs> unclog that drain. No. <laughs> so in Fallout 4, one of the melee weapons is the plumber's wrench. Check that out, V. Oh, <laughs> a little heavier than Pretty I thought. Pretty heavy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Can I feel it? Heck yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Whoa. Gee, you're so much stronger than that. Because, like, maybe coverage. we can put a, a tomato in it and just crush it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's Mr. Tomato. Oh, look at that little guy. He's so oh, cute. Oh, no. So cute. Oh, no. I swear I don't know anything. I swear tell I Tell me. Know. Tell me all the secrets of the Fruit Ninjas. No. Is this the horror video? Yeah. Is this not the oh. horror video? Oh. All right, he's been tortured long enough. All right. Let's go destroy one of the actual evil fruit ninjas. This was a, like a, a nice guy. He barely complained even. Yeah. Who do we got here? Mr. Googly Eyes Ninja. Sensei Ninja. He's got the uh, oh, yellow Miyagi. mustache. Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi Ninja. I thought we defeated Mr. Miyagi in the previous video. He's back from the dead. Back from the dead. Oh, I knew that these fruit had special powers. Oh, look, he hasn't totally finished healing yet, though. The top of his head. Oh, did this guy get left outside? Did the he raccoons did. get him? I think some of the squirrels got in, got on this guy. <laughs> okay, buddy, how are you going to do versus the pipe wrench? Better than you did against the squirrels or worse? Yeah, exactly. I guess we'll find out. Woo! Hey, uh, did somebody call a plumber? Survive. Oh, right. The eyebrows and the, or the unibrows and the mustaches that survived the best. Well, now he's a blind ninja. Let's go back inside and get another weapon to finish him off. Blind fear. <laughs> And the next Fallout 4 weapon is, oh, uh, that bell symbol reminds me to thank all of you guys who are part of the notification squad and who get here early, leaving me comments below. I love hanging out with you guys every upload, responding to your comments for the first 30 minutes. And I love using your guys' comments at the end of every video. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna give a shout out to a bunch of you guys and show your comments down below. Hit that bell symbol, make sure the bell is ringing and you're good to go. All right, let's get into the next weapon, which is the bear trap. It is a reusable mine type weapon. You can set it and forget it. People will come by, step right in it, and it'll 
clap onto their leg. Okay guys, so I already have a bear trap. I used it in my Deadpool video. Here's that bear trap that I bought. It's Duke's number three coil spring trap for $11.99. That's a pretty good deal. All right, let's go get that bear trap. And here is that bear trap. It's, uh, I mean, technically this is not for bears, but it's a very strong trap. I, ca I can't even like push this thing down. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Whew. So what you gotta do is you gotta put one foot here, one foot here, and very carefully put all your weight down on it. I think it probably requires at least 100 pounds or more. Uh, and then you have to open up the mouth here and set it. And you wanna be careful not to, not to set it off and get your fingers caught in there because you could probably break a finger if you did that. And hey, I just noticed that there's some springs on here. That makes me think of spring trap for all of you FNAF people out there, if you know what I'm talking about. Let's go trap some things, some of our evil nemesis fruit ninjas, and uh, see how they like that. And we got the bear trap, Justin. Oh no. You remember this one from Deadpool. Deadpool, bear pool. You call them bear right. pool. So watch your step. And bear B, pool. if you guys remember, V is super strong. She can just go like this and open this baby up. Yeah. yeah. Let's, just, let's, just, let's just do that right work, now. Work we'll break. Do it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, now what do you uh what do you think we should try to trap with our bear trap here? There aren't any bears around our neighborhood that I know of. No. B? Uh, ooh, maybe a balloon. This ooh, time? a balloon. Because oh. we did we did like tomatoes and stuff. And bananas last time. Last time. Yeah. That's Let's try right. Like a, balloon. a balloon might look really cool. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Let's yeah. give it a shot. Woo! All right, bear pools. <laughs> okay, you ready, Bee? All right. We're going to be very careful with this. We don't want anybody's fingers getting caught. Oops. Takes all my weight. There we go. Now I will remain very carefully still. The, what? Claws. This? Claws. This? Oh. Jaws, no, 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 not the claws. What do you think this is, Santa Claus? <laughs> I'm gonna uh -oh. slowly remove my feet. I hope it doesn't go off and slice my leg off. Woo! <sighs> that was scary. Woo! Hey, Mr. Water Emoji, I always told you to be cool, stay in school, don't be a fool, and don't mess around with bear traps. <gasps> but he did not listen. So, here's what happens. way over there because I didn't get wet at all. That was smart. <laughs> Finally, you know, you got showered with fruit, but yeah. leave the water emoji yeah. for Chad. Exactly. Uh-oh. I'm sensing you're throwing a monkey wrench into the bear trap. For the first time, we're going to actually need one of the emoji ninjas to help us <gasps> because our bear trap is on fire. An ally. And only he can put it out with his water capabilities. Oh, no. Our bear trap's on fire. Help us, Mr. Soda and Ninja. Help us. Sacrificed himself. We will put your face right here in a shrine Aww. and remember you forever. In the next Fallout 4 melee weapon we are testing out is the pool cue. It's one of the weakest melee weapons available to the sole survivor. It is a blunt, two-handed melee weapon with a slow swing speed, but it may be modified without any investment into the blacksmith perk, increasing its damage. All right, now pool cue is a weapon I have never used in this video series, so this is gonna be interesting. How will it hold up against our evil fruit ninjas? Let's go buy one. Hey, it's a pool cue, East Point Sports One Piece Shorty, Wood Billiard Q. Shorty, huh? Uh, it, yeah, this is a pool cue. What more is there to know? Let's go ahead and order it. Would you get a clue? It is the pool cue. Let's take it out of its plastic here. There we go. Okay, yep, it's the shorty. I'm holding it upside down. It transitions from a dark hardwood to a light hardwood. Now, this is actually very short. Uh, if you guys take a look here, it's not the length of a normal pool cue. It's pretty lightweight. I think I might swing this and smack into a fruit ninja. It might just break in half. Why don't you guys vote, uh, either in your head or down below, if you guys think the fruit ninja is gonna defeat the pool cue or 
Will the pool cue defeat the fruit ninja? You guys vote below. We're gonna go outside and see who wins. You guys recognize this? Uh, are we gonna play around? Yeah, let's play some pool, V. All right. Actually, this, this, <laughs> this pool cue is more V size. Oh. Let's see? Oh, yeah. yeah that's a mini pool cue. Yeah. I like it. It's called a shorty, actually. Right, check out the label there. Oh, it does. Oh, it my says gosh. shorty. It should just be called V. It should. Oh. Oh. But the I'm, V stick. I'm, I'm like the V really... stick. <laughs> so, who uses this, Chad? Nate. The, Nate. Nate, the great Nate V. Oh. As, a, as a weapon? It's, it's one of the weaker melee weapons, but if oh. you're in a pinch, you know, and you need to hit somebody, whack. Oh. So my question to these guys inside was, who will win, the Fruit Ninja or the Pool Cue? Because it's pretty light, right? Oh, yeah. I think the Fruit Ninja might win. Yeah. This is, it's like hollow. It's not solid. What do you wow. think, Justin? Give it, a hold, give it a hold here. Whoa, dude, you're a ninja. <laughs> Justin, who do you yeah. think is going to win? Fruit Ninja or Pool Q? Maybe if it's a Tomato Ninja, but the yeah. other ones might have too thick of skin. True. Maybe we should try both then. Tomatoes and maybe a watermelon. All right. All right. Here we go. Crazy! You didn't see that one coming. Very inventive. Right between the legs. Oh! All right, guys, we're going to first have V throw some fruit ninjas at me. Why don't you show them fruit ninja baseball? I'm the fruit pitcher today. Oh, they yeah. look mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pepper ninja. <laughs> don't hit me, Chad. I'm going to try my best. Army. It's going to get hot in here. Woo! Well, you can probably see my eyes go watching this little piece go like this. <laughs> oh, little banana juice. Wow, you're getting showered in fruit today. I know. <laughs> Would you like to take a fruit shower? Just Maybe. talk to this guy. Yeah. He'll give you a fruit shower. Oh, I'll hook you up with a fruit right. shower. Now for the real test. Will this survive against the evil watermelon ninja? We will find out. Don't make fun of the size of my head. I was grown this way. Actually, he looks like Stewie from The Family Guy, doesn't he? Oh, he does look With like With the Stewie. wide head. It's like a cross between Stewie and uh, Michelangelo. Stu <laughs> Stewie Angelo. Oh, I like it. We are testing out the pool cue. Who do you guys think is going to win? You guys vote now. Stewie Angelo or the pool cue? Let's see how you do. Say goodbye. All right, let's pool it up. Watermelon juice in my eye, and I thought right before doing this, I thought I should probably wear my goggles. Yeah, I, I guess Fruit Ninja won that one then. Yes, he's dripping blood though. Check that out oh. underneath there. His oh. knee is bleeding to Ooh, death. Yeah. I think his headband helped protect him though. Check out the headband Ooh. holding them together. All right, I think I got the perfect weapon that can take this guy out. Let's go back inside and get it. In the next Fallout 4 weapon is one you guys voted on. In the last video, I asked you guys to hit 60,000 thumbs up, I think it was, or maybe 50. Either way, you guys obliterated that thumbs up goal. And so you guys said, let's buy the Krems tooth. 
It is a religious item and a sacrificial knife and a tool for the religious wars that was likely created for use in either before the advent of the first civilized nations or in the darker eras after the Great War. All right, this is one of the coolest looking weapons I've ever seen. I found a person who actually builds it in their armory, this guy. Campbell Armory makes this handmade it's a real metal replica, and it looks freaking sweet. So, because you guys voted, let's go ahead and buy this thing. Whoa, he made this thing extremely fast. Wasn't that fast, guys? All right, let's open this baby up. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this looks exactly like the game. Wow, he did an amazing job with this thing. You can have the holes cut right here. I love how jagged and, and like rigid this thing looks. It looks like it's super old, like hundreds of years old. It's got some cool bandages on the handle here. Wow, I am super impressed with this thing. Check this out, guys. I think this will do a fantastic job. It's uh, kind of sharp, but not sharp enough to cut my hand, but definitely sharp enough to defeat some of our enemies, the Fruit Ninjas outside. So let's go outside, see what V and Justin think of this thing. I think they're gonna be very impressed with it. And uh, let's have some fun chopping some stuff up. Here we go. Check out this blade, oh, what huh? What is that? It's the Krems tooth. Wow. It's a religious item from Fallout 4. Pretty cool, huh? That is really cool. It looks kind of like a velociraptor on the end here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, like a claw. Like, it does look like that. Cool. This was made by a guy here in California, uh, Campbell's Armory. He made this handmade. Isn't wow. that cool? Yeah. Didn't he do an awesome job? Looks just wow. like the game. Just it like the game. Great. Are these like to protect your eyes? Yep. You can just hey. peek right through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's part costume, part weapon. Yeah. <laughs> to like disguise from You're right. predators, yeah. right? You look like You're cat. Right. You look like Catwoman now. <laughs> well, yeah. What do you think we should chop up with this? Anything. I think this is how we can destroy anything. I think so. That yeah. looks pretty watermelon friendly. I think it does. Does too. Yeah. All right, let's go defeat our evil fruit ninjas. Stewie Angelo survived the last time. He's not gonna survive this time, Ooh, is he? That oh. looks frightening. This is the tool that in the last video, everyone gave 50,000 thumbs up to get. 50,000 for the raptor claw? That's right. So this video though, they give this video 100,000 thumbs up. I'm gonna light my hands on fire and punch something in the Whoa. next video. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Get those thumbs up. I don't know if I approve of this. You don't approve? You don't approve <laughs> of this? Those thumbs up. I wanna all see right, thumbs all up. All right, all right. Approve. approve. Yay. Are you ready, my buddy? Ready. Oh, your voice got higher pitch. Are you afraid? I'm scared. <laughs> hung on for a while and the headband did get cut in half. Wow, that is a good, clean hit. Yeah, the headband that. didn't save him. No, it but, tried to. The headband tried to stop this. But guess what? He can still see you. Can he? Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, how, he, he's still looking at us. That's right. That's so sad. Aww. So much emotion. Yeah. Oh. That is sour. That's right, that was. Oh. That's an old watermelon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It finally happened. Yeah, it finally happened. We knew that would happen one of these days. Yeah, oh, definitely. That's what we get for using rotten fruit, I guess. All right, let's go back inside. If you guys want to get your own Krems tooth, I put a link to it down below. As in fact, everything that I'm using in today's video, I put links to where you can buy them down below. Huge shout out to all of you in the notification squad. I'm showing some of my favorite comments right down here from the last video. Thanks for making me laugh, guys. Thanks for the nice compliments. Really appreciate you guys getting here early to hang out with me after every upload. If you guys haven't seen this video, definitely check it out. It's amazing. If you're not subscribed to me, there I am. If you're not subscribed to V, there she is. Her and I do videos every week together on her channel. We have a lot of fun over there. Check her out. If that doesn't look good, this one is certainly super cool, amazing. I'll see you guys real soon with a brand new video. Kia!